So, uh, what does it actually do? What can you do with the Xbox, with, with the uh, Steam controls? If you press the main button in the middle, you go into um, the overlay menu. I mean, picture mode. So if I go into configure controller, you get a picture of the controller up. Now, a lot of it's fairly basic, so um, I can go into um, the X, all the X, Y, A, B, C buttons, and I can map these. So when I press Y, what does it do? At the moment, it's set to press Y on a D-pad controller. I could make it press any key, actually on anything on the mouse. I can make it do anything. I can even make it do multiple things if I want to. Um, so I come out of that. Um, you've got the joystick um, you can use. Um, you've got the, this thing here. So what I've got at the moment is if you... Um, so you can see, let me see if the mouse shows up. Yeah, it does. So this arrow. So this is the left D-pad. What happens is that if I touch the left D-pad, it's going to bring up a touch menu. And the touch menu, I've set it up to have 16 buttons. Touch menu button 1, headlights. And what that will do is it will press the H key. This one will do left shift plus H to do headlights minus. This one will do the cab light. And that's how I've done those. You go into advanced settings and then you can see all of the other options that I've set up in there. And you can set any of these up that you want. This is where you can put icons in as well. Um, so And you can move it around the screen um, as well. Uh, and this is done per game. So you can customise all of this. Um, all the buttons can be, can be remapped. You've also got the bottom... I don't know if you can see that. You've got this thing here. This is a grip. So that's two extra buttons on the bottom, um, which you can map. Now, I've actually used them as shifters. So what happens now is if I use the right this right um, the pad, it's just you acting as if it's the right joystick on an Xbox controller. If I hold the right grip down, then it becomes a mouse is what we've been using. So I've been holding the right grip down and it becomes a mouse. Over here on the touch menu, I've got it set so that if I held the left grip down, this becomes actually a scroll wheel, which for some reason isn't working. I haven't worked out why. But I can then, the idea being, the idea behind it was when I held the left grip down, I could do this action, round and round, to operate the um, reverser forwards and backwards, but that for some reason isn't working. I'm sure I've done something silly. Um, so that's kind of, I mean, that's really it, to be honest. Every single button on this device, you can customise what it does. This is the gyro, so you can set the gyro up so that it maps to the mouse or a joystick or all sorts of different things. Um, so you can make it to where, as you move the mouse like that, it would move the stick like that, so it moves the mouse effectively up and down. Um, so if we change that to... Uh, mouse and if we make it um, gyro enable button as always on if I now come out back to the game you see how it's moving up and down and left and right based on very subtle movements of the uh, of the gyro and all of this what you can't feel is all the haptics I'm getting lots of a little gentle buzzing going on with the device whenever I'm doing stuff, which is very, very cool, actually. Um, but I'm going to get rid of that because I don't need that. That works really well for things like driving games like Euro Truck or uh, ATS or something like that. Turn that off. Um, so that's that's kind of the back end of it. So the next thing I'm going to have a look at is I'm going to drive a steam engine and we'll see what uh, we'll see what we can do. Is my config available on Steam for download? Yeah, if I go into browse configs, under community there's this one Dovetail Games TS2016 bindings, which you can see is uploaded by me and has 48 users. Yay me! Um, that's the one, that's the last one I uploaded, which is almost identical to what I'm using right now. Can you run the rail driver in the mouse at the same You mean in this thing at the same time? You probably could actually, I don't see why not. Um, it's just that they're kind of both a bit of a handful, so physically it's probably a bit more difficult to use them both. Um, right, so let me come out of that. Um, yeah, so if you want to... Have I tried it on ETS2? It's better than the Xbox controller. I haven't tried it on ETS2, I must admit. Um, I just... I can imagine it'd be good. It's awesome on Flight Sim. Um, once you get the hang of, you know, controlling it the oak like that, it's really good. Okay, so... 
let me come back out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change to... Oops, wrong one. 